This is a segment, if you're unfamiliar, this is a segment where viewers try to find mistakes on our show, and they do it because we dare them to. We dare our viewers, try and find a single small, f small flaw in our show. That was very like that one right there. That was great. Uh, <laughs> that was <laughs> Shut up, Richter. Uh, <laughs> But seriously, we dare them to try and find something. Yep. So far, hundreds of challengers, not one winner. They think they find a flaw, and then turns out we're right. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight, a fan named Carson Seaver says he thinks he caught a mistake. He says it happened during a recent interview with Christina Applegate. Hello, Conan. My name is Carson Seaver, and I found an error on your show. In a recent interview with Christina Appleby, you claimed that Disneyland has been open since Truman was president. The first ride we put her on was Peter Pan, and all of a sudden you just heard blood-curdling screaming from my child. People have come here since like 1950-something, you know? Oh yeah, that calms a two-year-old down. So it, People have been coming here since Truman was president. <laughs> but you were wrong. Truman was president from 1945 to 1953. Almost two years later, Disneyland opened. Not only is this an insult to the integrity of your show, it is an insult to Dwight D. Eisenhower, who is from my home state, Kansas. Your move, Conan. I think it's clear Carson just went to the chessboard because he ran out of animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do his parents know he's operating a small farm? <laughs> Some sort of petting zoo. <laughs> I want to make this clear, all right? Uh, Carson, he seems like a, a very funny kid, very creative. I thought you did a terrific job. Robert C. He really did. I want to give it up for him because I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have such smart, creative fans, but I'm sorry to tell you, Carson, you're dead wrong. You just are wrong. You see, the Peter Pan ride was opened during the Truman administration. If you don't believe me, it's time for a little history lesson. Watch this authentic newsreel footage. <laughs> from 1955. 1955, a glorious day in Anaheim, California, as kids streamed into Disneyland for a chance to ride the brand new Peter Pan ride. Thrills and excitement for all. And on this very same day, Harry Truman was sworn in as president of Disneyland. There he is being sworn in by Mickey, in attendance on Donald, Minnie, and there's Goofy. That makes Truman the first president under whom people could use the Peter Pan ride, in case that information is of use in the future. Good day. Anyway, the challenge still stands. If you think you've spotted an error on our show, report it at teamcoco.com slash ha ha, I found an error. We will sort it out right here on the air. Let's see if you've got what it takes to make jump meat out of the maestro. <laughs> Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.